Booming Thunder Radio. Where we groove as the spirit moves. Yeah. Drawing the honey from the rock of the righteous Reverend Doctor on Booming Thunder Radio. Shalom, mighty friends. Hey, welcome, fellow Hanukkah warriors, unseen in all the earth. Hey, may the mercy and justice be in your heart and on your mind continually. Let the sword in your hand be found as the living word this day of Second Chronicles. 26 in the right, 27 in the left. Walking right down the middle. He the Red Sea parts before us all. And as the mighty east wind blows from the west and the spinning wheel goes round and round and the blood, the sweat and all the tears reveal the web of intrigue revealed in the depths of the mystery of heaven within you yea within each of us filled with the lamb yea becoming as the lamb first year sacrifice given daily before dawn's early light to the Mashiach calling out to walk on the water across the Galilee yea we part the sea Yeah, Sally's seashore parts and the living water stands on the right and the left hand. We, the us, walk across the remnant together forever and stand upon the rock of our salvation. And we, yea, going willingly each and every day giving our lives burning in the lake of fire in this life that the next life would have no one suffering in the lake of fire They had all received the blessing and we all come together right now over we ye mighty friends the word is living and active and sharper than any double-edged steel sword. Do you hear? For the Hanukkah warrior blade of truth. Yea, the spirit of truth within each willing vessel's heart wheels this glory and the spirit of truth into the living word the blade and wisdom willingly 
receives the blade each morning and opens her pages at just that right place. <clears throat> Today I did treasure forever, opened her pearly gates at 726. Yea, the mystery of Torah is in the numbers, but not in the twisted meaning of other spirits, but in the revelation of but one, the Mashiach. Yea, when he comes in each of one of our hearts, yea, in the revelation of the living word becomes alive in our life, an everlasting moment, that is the rapture of the revelation to live forever seen and unseen with the hope of glory forever in the earth teaching our children the living word as they read the Torah and we the fathers reveal all that the mighty one of Israel, the spirit of truth has revealed unto each one of us in the living word, through the living word, and only by the living word of truth, and never in a measure just read out loud in a great measure that is Yea, fifty thousand leagues under the sea. Yea, let the water stand, having done all to stand and burn the wood, hay, and stubble out of each one of us. And Um, humble on the Sabbath day and serve our family and lead them and steal a seed in their heart for a wanting to live righteous and true. That the helper would come. Yahshua gave his life. That the helper could come. The mighty angel. He made. By the father's command. Just for you. Mighty friend. One in a thousand for some. One in a million for others. Yeah. But the 24 kings. Yeah. And all the holy ones. The humbled. Yeah. The four humbled bond servants that revealed the mysterious way of truth. Unto me. Yea, you know them. The lion. Yea. Is Nehemiah Gordon. Nehemiah's wall dot com. Makor Hebrew Foundation. Yea. Giving us a good foundation for the basis of our burning in the earth, our being devoured if we walk not in the
the spirit of truth in the earth. In the face of the man, a rude awakening dot TV. Michael Rude, yeah. He was the first for me. Way back a long time ago. And the lightning bolt first struck me. I can't rightly remember how many years ago it was. It, at least 20 some years ago. I was, uh, I was in Rala, Missouri, building the most deadly thing ever built by the hands of men in this great nation. I ask for your forgiveness of my ignorance and God's grace and power to rule over such evil in a way that it would never overcome us. That it would be used for righteousness and truth to bring glory to God alone. Yea, the mighty one of Israel. To protect the innocent. Yea, the day of vengeance. That day once spoken of. It was up there when the father said that I was to find Noah's Ark. Can you imagine such a thing? Now that was back in the day where if you had a 56K modem, you was the king daddy on the internet. That's as fast as they ever went. E. On that modem kind of side of things. That dial-up kind of side of things. But it was back in those days. We were back in uh, Fort Lost in the Woods there. And uh, doing a BRAC. Was BRAC 87? No. No, it was, uh, that was BRAC 90. BRAC 95, I think, is what it was called. So it was about 1995 we were down in there building this school for the Army, this military police academy and training facility, this chemical defense training facility that has this place in it we built where the green dragon he rules over that land and the, the land where the lake of fire is now. So we must burn in the lake of fire of the living word in this life. For if we slay not our ego in this life and walk in humility and truth in this life, then we will burn in the lake of fire in the next life forever in agony. On the wrong side of that great divide. So you think about that. Because there is evil in this promised land beyond your imagination. And there were good men who built it in their ignorance and their their wanting to work and provide for their family yeah, the American way you know the way I the way I was raised back when things were you know where Jew and Gentile cohabitated I mean in the city I grew up Tyler Texas when I grew up, I mean, there were synagogues all over Tyler. And, uh, you know, and then when that book of Revelation, we all wonder where we're at in the thing. But could you imagine 
a righteous king of the promised land getting shot in the head and then suffering a fatal wound. He rose again, but in his heart he was a different man, a different king, a different leader. Imagine, could a time like that have ever happened in this promised land? Can our eyes be opened to the green dragon in the promised land? Can the treasured golden submarine save us? Those who fought and brought forth Israel in 1948, they still live and they still alive. 90, 100 years old, some of them. They're going to live forever for the work they have done for the angels in their charge. Yea, the helpers given them by the everlasting glory in the earth. Doubt not the spirit, mighty friend. The spirit is real and beyond imagination for those that believe. Let not mystery Babylon deceive you into thinking that the carnal mind, that 6% of your mind that the Father has given you to use, restricting the 94%, which is the everlasting glory in the tabernacle of the mind, that secret meeting place of the beloved King David, and not the secret meeting place of old Johnson. Do you hear? So if we look at our brother Thea today, and we, we see his bald head, We see his slow Texas draw, and we see the land of the West that was once red and full of slaves, and all the way to the east shore, the Georgia shore, where the tallest of all the towers, yeah stands until this, even into this very day. Our brother Thea can be many things, can he not? But let us hope that Thea's G726 of definition of the strong number, the harpazel, harpazel, Yea, the rudest one of all has told us about that, the face of the man that reveals the wisdom of Solomon. To seize, carry off by force, the Thea definition. To seize on claim for one's self eagerly. To snatch out or away. Yeah, like from the east coast unto the west coast, the Mashiach, the kingdom of heaven will come in the promised land of New Jerusalem, which is in men's hearts in all the earth. Yeah, in the face of the ox, the fattened ox on the west coast. Yeah, our brother Michael Petro from Forerunner 
TV.com. He, he reveals the mystery of Moshe. And he brings the manifest station of the face of the calves, those that are to be fattened in the stall and kick. And then every submarine captain's favorite place back in the marsh fields of old Jeremiah's home, the golden submarine captain's little carved out treasure, that black pearl of the deep, yeah, where the crouching, perching green dragon layers or liars there. The lake of fire. Yeah, the eagle. Michael Lake. Fly like an eagle with these four humbled bond servants. KingdomIntelligenceBriefing.com Or I think you can go MichaelKLake.com Easier to remember on that one. And uh, bada bing, you can be in there. He's closing down his school. He's, uh, he's full of the anointed word. And he his fingertips and his pen are... Uh, the scribal text with, uh, it's going to be flowing out of all these brothers. So these are my treasured friends and brothers that reveal the spirit of truth in many levels unto me to find and walk with the spirit of truth, which we all must do. Let no man deceive you. It's you and the word living and active in your heart. The G726, ye of our complete word study dictionary, Harpazo is to seize upon to spoil, to snatch away. It's used more often in the latter testaments than in the earlier ones. But literally to seize upon with force, to rob. It's differing from klepto, which is to steal secretly. This denotes an open act of violence in contrast to cunning and secret stealing. Do you understand? Though generally this harpazo, it, it denotes robbery of another's property, it's not exclusively used for this, mighty friend. So be not deceived by men. You see, sometimes it's used generally meaning forcibly to seize upon to snatch away, to take to oneself, such as in Acts 23 and 10. And as a great dissension was developing, the commander was afraid Paul would be torn to pieces by them and ordered the troops to go down and take, there it is, G726, and take him away. Oh, there it is again, G726. 
from them by force. Oh, there it is again, G726. Now this harpazo, harpazo, harpazo in the Greek has been translated and take him away from them by force. Not often you see the same word three times in a row. Especially a word used in this way that you might understand and bring him into the barracks. Hallelujah. So many have considered these things as as to like a rapture in in Revelation twelve and five. And she gave birth to a son. A male child who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught. There it is. G726. Caught up to God and to his throne as a rapture. The rapture, mighty friend, is your revelation of the living word once it is circumcised in your heart. Because if it's not circumcised, it's the measure we see in all the earth which is veiled by the pride of the heart from the real truth, veiling their bloodthirsty nature for those that love the truth. So, it's very interesting, I think, that... uh, Harpazo, you know, differing from klepto, these open acts of violence to reclaim or to take back what is right, used very differently in very many different instances. I hope it inspires you into a greater depth as we cross over from the Greek mindset to the Hebrew mindset and say unto this mountain, be removed into the sea. And those thoughts in your mind, that old way of thinking, will leave in the twinkling of an eye into the abyss and the anointed word and the son of glory, the everlasting glory in the earth, your love of the truth of the living word and the hope of everlasting glory of its eternal life in each of our hearts. H726 Ramin it's a proper noun designating Aramean. And Syrian. As we see in 2 Kings 16 and 6. At that time. Razin. King of. Aram. Recovered. Aleph. For. Aram. And cleared. The. Judeans out of Eleth entirely, mighty friend. And the Armenians came to Eleth 
and they have lived there to this very day. Do you hear? Ye, the word study. The old brown driver, they have the Aramite, the Syrian, and the Edomite as their definition. Very interesting. So let us open the living word. In the New American Standard we're reading from, or being inspired to be read from, It is uh, seven twenty six. Which is Second Chronicles twenty five. And before we begin. I just want to point out a few things as we read through these things. That embedded within these mysterious words, you will see amazing things that may in fact make you say, Aha! So, be on the lookout of these types of things that when you look at them, they look back like an A and then an I. Or an I and an ah. A keen eye in the living word. With the twinkling of the eye and your heart and tabernacle would be every day. Um. Isaiah was twenty five years old when he became the king, and he reigned twenty nine years in Jerusalem. Long ago. And his mother's name. Was. Yea. Hold. Dan. Of Jerusalem. He did right in the sight of the existing father. Yet not with the whole heart. Now it came about as soon as the kingdom was firmly in his grasp that he killed his servants who had slain his father, the king. However, he did not put their children to death. But as it is written in the law in the book of Moshe, which the existing father commanded, saying, Fathers shall not be put to death for sons, nor sons be put to death 
forefathers. But each shall be put to death for his own sin. Do you understand? The angels are watching and they understand. So amazing I defeats Edomites. Oh look, there's Edo and Mites. Oh look, there is an I and a T. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Moreover, Amaziah assembled Yehuda and appointed them according to fathers' households under commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds throughout Yehuda and we be jamming Benjamin, hallelujah, the faithful one. And he took a census of those from twenty years old and upward and found them to be three hundred thousand choice men. Abel, do you hear? To go to war and handle spear and shield. Near the arcing of the bow. The squaring of the compass. He hired also 100,000 valiant warriors out of Israel for one hundred talents of silver. But a man of God came to him, saying, O king, do not let the army of Israel go with you, for the existing father is not with Israel, nor with any of the sons of Ephraim. But if you go, do go. But if you do go and do it, be strong for the battle. God will bring you down before the enemy, for God has power to help and to bring down. Do you understand? Amazing. Said to the man of God. But what? What shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the troops of Israel? And the man of God answered, Yahoshua Hamashiach's father, the existing one, has much more to give you than this. Do you understand? Then, Amaziah dismissed them, the troops which came to him from Ephraim, to go home, so their anger burned against Yehuda, and they returned home in fierce anger. Bloodthirsty were they. Now, amazing. 
strengthened himself and led his people forth and went to the valley of salt. Yea, that old salt life. And struck down ten thousand of this, the sons of Seir. Do you hear? Yeah, second witness can be in Second Kings 14 and 7. For the ten thousand struck down. The sons of Yehuda also captured ten thousand alive and brought them to the top of the cliff and threw them down from the top of the cliff so that they were all dashed to pieces. But the troops, the troops whom uh, Maziel sent back from going with him to battle, raided the cities of Yehuda from Samaria to Bethlehem. To Beth Horon, excuse me and struck down three thousand of them, and plundered much spoil. Now, after Amaziah came from slaughtering the Edomites, he brought the gods of the sons of Seir, set them up as his gods, bowed down before them and burned incense to them. Why would he be so foolish? Then the anger of the existing father burned against Amaziah and he sent him a prophet and said to him, Why have you sought the gods of the people who have not delivered their own people from your hand? Why would you do such an idiot thing? And as he was talking with him, the king said to him, Have we appointed you a royal counselor? Stop! Why should you be struck down? Then the prophet stopped and said, I know that God has planned to destroy you because you have done this and have not listened to my counsel. Yea, you best listen. When you hear the word. Because the old weighted measure on the back of Issachar's donkey. Yeah, that one carrying that grain offering up that narrow way. Yeah, he's been waiting to do that three times a year, so stay out of his way. Each family saving up there ten percent so that they can rejoice at the festival times with their friends and family in the new Jerusalem that place shown each one of their fathers in his heart and in the tabernacle of his mind to gather together and rejoice in the mighty name of yod hey vav hey in the everlasting glory in the earth, his son, the living word in a circumcised heart.
So then, Amaziah, king of Yehuda, took counsel and sent to Joash, the son of Yehahaz, Yehoahaz, That's like Yaho being realized in Arizona, the son of Yehu, the king of Israel, saying, Come, let us face each other. Joash, the king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Yehuda, saying, the thorn bush. Do you understand that little crown? Which was in Lebanon. Yea, a short while sent to the cedar, which was in Lebanon, saying, Give your daughter to my son in marriage. But there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon and trampled the thorn bush. You said, Behold, you have defeated Edom, and your heart has become proud and boasting. Now stay at home. For why should you provoke trouble so that you, even you, spotless one, would fall and Yehuda with you? But Amaziah would not listen, for it was from God that he might deliver them into the hand of Joash, because they had sought the gods of Edom. Remember? So Joash, king of Israel, went up, and he and Amaziah, king of Yehuda faced each other at Beth Shemesh, which belonged to Yehuda. Yehuda was defeated by Israel, and they fled each to his tent. <clears throat> then Joash king of Israel captured Amaziah, king of Yehuda, the son of Joash, the son of Yehoaz, at Beth Shemesh, and brought him to Jerusalem, and tore down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate. Four hundred cubits, mighty friends, ripped it all down. He took all the gold and silver and all the utensils which were found in the house of God with Obed-Edom and the treasures of the king's house, the hostages also, and returned to Samaria. So foolish. And Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Yehuda, lived fifteen years after the death of Joash, son of Jeho, Jehoahaz, king of Israel. 
Now, the rest of the acts of Amaze Amazing I know A revelation from above From first to last From the last to the first Behold Are they not written In the book of the kings of Yehuda and Israel? Mighty friend, from the time that Amaziah turned away from following the existing father and bowed and burned incense to the gods of the Edomites and their idols, they conspired against him in Jerusalem and he fled to Lachish. Do you understand? Lachish? But they sent after him to Lachish and killed him there. Beware of Lachish, mighty friend. Then they brought him on horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Yehuda. Uzziah, you, Zaiah, succeeds a maze in Yehuda. You, mighty friend, spotless lamb. And all the people of Yehuda took you, Zaiah. Took, and all the people of Yehuda took you, who was sixteen years old, and made him king in the place of his father, Amaziah. He built Eloth and restored it to Yehuda after the king slept with his fathers. Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king, and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem, mighty friend. You Zaiah, 52 years. He did right in the sight of the existing father. Do you understand? According to all that his father, Amaziah, had done. 52 years from 16 years old. That's a long time. You, Zaiah, will succeed in war. Now he went out and warred against the Philistines and broke down the wall of Gath and the wall of Jabneth and the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities in the area of Ashdod and among the Philistines. God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arab Ar- Arabians <clears throat> who lived in Gerbaal and the Meunites. The Ammonites also gave tribute to you, Zaiah, and his fame extended to the border of Egypt, for he became very strong. Moreover, you, Zaiah, built towers in New Jerusalem at the corner gate 
and at the city, yea, at the valley gate, and at the corner of buttress, and fortified them. He built towers in the wilderness, and hewed many cisterns, for he had much livestock, both in the lowland and in the plain. He also had plowmen and vine dressers in the hill country and the fertile fields, and he loved the soil, do you hear? Moreover, you, Zion, you, mighty friend, had an army ready for battle, which entered combat by divisions according to the number of their muster, seed in their heart, prepared by, yea, I am the scribe, and Masia, the official, under the direction of Hananiah. Aya, Naya, Hananiah, Hananiah, one of the king's officers. The total number of the heads of the households, are you listening? Of valiant warriors, are you listening? Was 2,600. Are you listening? Even until this day, the unseen Hanukkah warriors bring glory to the existing father in the earth. Under their direction was an, an elite army of 300,007, 307,500 who could wage war with great power to help the king against the army. Moreover, you... Zai prepared for all the army shields, spears, helmets, body armor, bows, and slinging stones. Yea, five smooth stones in each pocket. Finding that temple gate and opening the door of their tabernacle. In Jerusalem he made engines of war invented by skillful men to be on the towers and on the corners of the yeah, for the purpose for shooting arrows and great stones. Hence his fame spread afar for he was marvelously helped until he was strong. You, Zaya, pride, will, he is his undoing. For we must kill that beast within our hearts and minds every day. Or oh, the pride of life creeps in. But when... But when he w became strong, his heart was so proud that he acted corruptly, and he was unfaithful to the existing father, his God. For he entered the temple of the existing father to burn incense on the altar of incense. Then... Azariah, the priest, entered after him, and with him eighty priests of the existing father, valiant men. 
they opposed you, the king, and said to him, If it is not for you, you, to burn incense to Yahoshua HaMashiach's father, our God, Mare Yehovah, the everlasting glory. But for the priests alone, the sons of Aaron, who are consecrated to burn incense, get out of the sanctuary, for you have been unfaithful, and we will have no honor from the existing father, if you don't get out now, his honor will leave us. But you, Zion, with a censer in his hand for burning incense, was enraged. And while he was enraged with the priests, the leprosy broke out on his forehead before the priests of the house of the existing father, Mare Yehovah, beside the altar of incense. Azariah, the chief priest, And all the priests looked at him, and behold, he was leprous on his forehead, and they hurried him out of there, and he himself also hastened to get out, because Yahushua's father, the unknowable one, Yahovah, had smitten him. King You, Zion, was a leper to the day of his death, serving faithful fifty-two years, and then the pride of life, making him a leper to the day of his death, and he lived in a separate house, being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of Yahushua, he, Mare Yehovah. And Jotham, Jot Ham, his son, was over the king's house, judging the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of you, Zael, First to last, last to first, the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amaz, has written. You can begin reading in Isaiah 1 and 1. So you, Zaiah, slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of the grave which Belong to the kings, for they said, He is a leper. And Jot Ham, his son, became king in his place. So Jot Ham succeeds his father, you, Zaya, the leper in your Huda. So Jot Ham was twenty-five years old when he became king. And he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Yeru. Ye rush ah rush ah do you understand 
the daughter of Zadok. Second Kings fifteen thirty three through thirty five for the faithful witness. He did right in the sight of the existing father, according to all that his father you Uzziah had done. However, he did not enter the temple of the existing father. But still the people continued acting corruptly. He built the upper gate of the house of the existing father, and he built exclusively, yea, extensively, the wall of Ophel, O P Hell, Of El. Moreover, he built cities in the hill country of Yehuda, and he built fortresses and towers on the wooded hills. King of Yehuda, the builder. Yea, mighty friend. You know what time it is now. You smell that Hebrew pie cooking in the kitchen. So let's let's go inside and having humbled ourselves and having parted the Red Sea this morning and dyed our apron red in the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach. The blood of a golden submarine captain in the earth. So as we go to HebrewPie.com today and look for two faithful witnesses, and scroll down that page to the first block of numbers and touch on Hebrew Pie 28, mighty friend. That'll take us to today's message. Hebrew Pie 28. Rain down rewards is what it's called. And the picture of your mind is of a Hebrew mindset. But you need to think of it as the top of a mountain. And you... And the one that made you and the one he made for you with the one who made each one of us in their hearts. The three of them stand upon the mountain of the mind, yea, the tabernacle of the beloved King David, and receive the glory the glory knowledge, firm foundation, yea, and send out all they have been give, freely given, yea, to watch the glory of God in great temple delight. So Hebrew Pie Sum today, Hebrew Pie 28 Sum is 266. So in our tradition, if we go to the Brown Driver Hebrew 266, we see that we had received the same piercing of the pages in the number. Just a few just a short while ago, for it means Ahoite, the brother of rest. 
one of the clan of Ah oh ah ye so if we go to the complete word study we see that it just says that it's a a noun designating a a ah or eight gives us several scripture verses let's see if we can let's try this first one Second Samuel twenty three and nine. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ah O Ait, one of the three mighty. When they defied the Philistines who were gathered there to battle and the men of Israel had withdrawn. Yeah. Very interesting. Dodo an Israelite Dodo it means loving or amorous Yeah, the Father works in mysterious ways. You can't make this stuff up. It just can't be done. And there are many who try to do it to deceive and steal your money. You keep your money for your family so you can go to New Jerusalem and rejoice with the Father at the three appointed seasons. Do you hear? And if you've been blessed, are you... I have been entrusted with the treasure for the remnant. Yeah. Then you can go to the yellow submarine store. Yellow submarine dot store. And go down to the bottom of that page there. And, and you can find if you have. Want to support. Our humble. Broadcasts, the studio is almost ready. We'll be broadcasting uh, 1080p. Be still some time yet before the Glory Broadcasting Network is 24-7. We're still renovating in the uh, new studio complex area given us recently and um, as we enjoy our time with our family and new friends in this promised land given us this marshy field where the eagles gather yeah. put us back on the right path the complete word study So, if you have it and you misuse it, the glory of God, the glory knowledge of God, and you cross over back to G266, Armatias, 
It is the meaning to sin, missing the true end and scope which our lives are, which is to live with God forever. And why do so many reject Him here when our ultimate destination is with Him in this world, seen, first seen and then unseen if we have been found worthy? Yeah, and those that stand in opposition to the truth, yeah, such as in the words of Yehoshua HaMashiach from John sixteen eight through 9, and he, when he comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment, concerning sin because... And there it is, G266, concerning sin. Because they do not believe in the Mashiach can be in their hearts while we walk in the earth. That they could prepare a vessel willingly for the king of glory when all the earth, the whores of mystery Babylon, let all types of demons and spirits in and out of their vessel. Say no more to the man of sin, to the Antichrist, in Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no one in any way deceive you, mighty friend, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed the son of destruction. Do you understand? He opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes the seat In the temple of God, which you are the temple of God, displaying himself as being God. So when you walk in Mystery Babylon and you look around, do you not see the lawless one in the hearts? Yea, in the temple of God, displaying themselves as God? While they point to some carnal reckoning witchcraft oh god do you not remember that while the existing father's son was suffering with us that he told us about all these things don't you know what constrains him now so that in his time he will be revealed. Do you understand? For that mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains. Yeah. Benjamin. Aaron. Faithful sons of everlasting will do so until he is taken out of the way. Then that lawless one, yea, the one in all the people's hearts, yea, whom Yahushua HaMashiach, yea, he will slay with the breath of his mouth, yea, from the words of repented men's hearts, And bring to an end by the appearance of his coming. That is, mighty friend, the one whose coming is in accord with the activity of Satan. With all power and signs and false wonders. And with all the deception of wickedness 
for those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, so as to be saved. And for this reason, God will send upon them a deluding influence, yea, so that they will believe what is in their heart which is false, because they love not the truth, in order that they all may be judged who do not believe the truth, but took pleasure in wickedness. Yeah, so stand firm, mighty friend, having done all to stand firm as we march forth to Hebrew pie this day. Oh, let me cut you a big old slice. Oh, look how firm it stands. Yeah, that we should always give thanks to God for the mystery of you in heavens and the earth. My brethren, my fellow Hanukkah warrior, beloved by the Yahushua HaMashiach in each heart, because God has chosen you from the very beginning for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and faith in the truth. And it has, yea, for this reason, been called, calling you through our gospel, that you may gain the glory of Yahushua HaMashiach, ye our King. So then, mighty friend, Stand firm and hold to the, to, the, to the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or by letter from us. Now, may Yahushua HaMashiach himself and God, our Father, who has loved us and given us eternal comfort and good hope by grace, comfort and strengthen each of your hearts in every good work and every good word. Hallelujah. Rain down rewards look out across the horizon for those that walk along the way a dawning of apostolic light is seen as nourishment for this glorious day with cutting tools they divide in order that many can be gathered the harvested food opens our eyes that we might spiritually see what the world does not believe. The tent of meeting now unites us as his lights wills us to be. Entering in with delight in what we can now see. The Ruach HaKadosh binding the tools within our hands breeze nourishment into our minds that we can trumpet the prophet's message for now is the appointed time a cloud we have become raining on the masses that stand outside we rain down rewards life and strength grace to transform and kill the ego that reigns inside. The door now opened. Revelation of Torah connects our spirit and soul like heaven upon earth for a millennium this time. 
Apostolic weapons are now being drawn, removing flesh, circumcising hardened hearts and ears for now is the appointed time. Pull back the veils, reveal the mysteries of the kingdom of God that resonate inside, now and forever, yea, for all time. Oh, Mare Father, existing one, Mare Ahova, teach us your ways. Ye, the helper, ye, that your Son revealed into our hearts, that he gave his life that we could receive this great gift, this teacher of truth. For these things we have come to adore. Thank you, Father. For you are the one that made this mason jar. Yea, this treasured wine bottle with the airship that takes the journey with you throughout eternity and all time. The mystery of you Only hearts can do that And then Again I'd spin them with you 